guys, it's Jupiter Review Games or Adam. Welcome back to some more Call of Duty Zombies. And no, we're not going to be talking about Treyarch Zombies or Guard Grovey or DLC 4. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Infinite Warfare Zombies because lately there has been just a ton of leaks, rumors, and of course, Infinity Ward themselves, they're really hyping up Infinite Warfare Zombies. And I'm really starting to believe that this could be something really special and really epic. So in this video, I want to talk about some of the leaks we've had so far and what we could expect from Infinite Warfare Zombies. Infinity Ward has had three years now to work on Infinite Warfare and of course Infinite Warfare Zombies and Treyarch is literally the king of the third game mode in Call of Duty and Treyarch Zombies is more than just a third game mode now. It's something that is absolutely massive and none of the other Call of Duty developers have been able to get that third game mode right. You know, Extinction was pretty Pretty good, not the best though. Exo Zombies, I'm not a big fan of Exo Zombies, but of course, it's definitely a lot closer to what Treyarch has done. And now we have Infinite Warfare Zombies, and this Zombies mode is is looking like it's going to be something really fun. It's kind of silly and really out there, and I'm kind of excited about that. Just the things that I, that they've shown us. I'm really excited about Infinite Warfare Zombies. Now, I really don't want to get my hopes up again like I did with Exo Zombies and Extinction. I was really expecting a lot from that, but it's most likely not going to be as good as Treyarch Zombies, but still, it could be pretty damn good, especially if some of these leaks actually come true. So what do we know so far about Infinite Warfare Zombies? Uh, what we're getting right now is we're kind of getting this movies 80 vibes kind of going on. All of the leaks have been referring to movie directors, movie posters, you know, film reels, again, 1980s. And to me, the first thing that comes to mind is fun. It, I think it's going to be a really fun game mode. And of course, Call of the Dead, guys. Like, Call of the Dead is about George Romero and then four actual actors in real life. And that was kind of like a fun spin-off map. And I'm expecting something very similar to that. So the reason why I kind of want to do this video now is because we have the reveal coming out in just a couple of days. And I kind of want to go over some of the leaks that we have right now and see how many of these leaks are actually true and legit once the reveal happens. So first of all, guys, uh, the big leaks out there right now how similar Infinite Warfare Zombies is going to be to Treyarch Zombies. And again, I have no problem with this. You know, having Pack-a-Punch, box weapons, uh, Easter eggs, all that stuff, perks, all the things that are very similar to Treyarch Zombies. And I think they actually came out there and said that Infinite Warfare Zombies Easter eggs are going to be incredibly complex and take a long time to find all of these Easter eggs. And that's kind of exciting. I kind of feel like the Treyarch Easter eggs are still pretty complex and pretty tough, but we tend to find them relatively quickly. Having something that would take maybe a couple of weeks to put together and find would be pretty damn awesome. But for me, guys, I'm really concerned about the gameplay. Is how is this going to play out? I just don't want flying around in space and all that stuff. And the big thing, guys, doing objectives. I don't want to go around and do objectives unless it's for the Easter egg, but if I have to rescue a survivor or if I don't, I get punished. I don't want annoying things like that in zombies. It, it was kind of like that in Extinction and, and then with Exo Zombies, it was just really, really annoying. So I want a classic game mode of zombies. If you want to have other game modes within zombies that actually are objective oriented, okay, that's fine but have a classic game mode in there. That is definitely what I'm looking for. Another big leak is, of course, Kino der Toten, that they're going to be doing a remake of Kino der Toten, and that would make sense. You would think that they could do that because if we're talking about movie theaters and 1980s, all that kind of stuff, Kino der Toten is the perfect map to remake, but with this one, 
I don't know. That's Treyarch Zombies. I don't know if they're going to do that. I would actually like to see something different, but hey, I won't be mad if they do a Kino Toad remake. That's for sure. Now, of course, there are a lot more leaks, but a lot of them are just really, really ridiculous. Like, there's a leak regarding the storyline, how it's multiple universes, just like Treyarch. It's just, it's just not going to happen, but Infinite Warfare is really close, and TLC4, guys, is literally like a month away, less than a month away, and then we're done with Treyarch Zombies, and this is the next thing for us, and uh, not only am I excited for Infinite Warfare Zombies, I'm also excited for Infinite Warfare, and I think it could be a really, really good Call of Duty, and we're gonna see what Zombies is all about in Infinite Warfare in just a couple of days, and I'm curious to hear about what you guys have to think about this. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you want out of Infinite Warfare Zombies? Of course, I'm thinking it's going to be similar to Treyarch Zombies, but I'm thinking they're going to make a couple of changes as well. If you could make a couple of changes to Treyarch Zombies, what would you do? Let me know in the comment section below. And like I said, guys, I'm really, really hyped. At the beginning, I kind of wrote off Infinite Warfare like a lot of people did, but now... I'm actually kind of excited. I'm looking forward to the campaign and the zombies and the multiplayer and of course Call of Duty 4 and all of that stuff is going to be available to us very, very soon. So anyways guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, leave the video a thumbs up. And like always guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.